I'm building a tiny vacation home on wheels. Shut up and sit down. So I'm at the VA hospital right now, since I am ex-military, disabled veteran. Uh, and uh, I am looking to see where I get my vaccine. I have a one o'clock appointment and I think it was drive through but I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> so I usually only come here when I've broken my arm ice skating, which obviously has not happened this time around. So I don't know. Let's see, I might have to just park over by the women's clinic and walk endlessly through the um, through the uh, hospital. Okay, all right, let me find out where I gotta go. Have you had any vaccines in the last two weeks? No. Um, are you on dialysis? No. Are you taking chemotherapy? No. Okay. Have you had any problems with vaccines in the past? No. I've uh, had every shot there is. Gotcha. Let's see. So this we're is the first time I've lost on the list this time, so. Ah. Yeah. So we're going to the Pfizer vaccine. There'll be two doses. Okay. This is information on the vaccine. You can take this with you and read. Okay. The highlights of it, though, are in the boxes here. This at the injection site, you got some minor pain, discomfort, redness, swelling. It may itch a little. Don't scratch at it. Don't rub it. Uh, over the next couple of days, you may have some general flu-like symptoms: headache, nausea, body aches, fever, flu, those type of things. Not flu. Yeah. Uh, fever, chills, that type of thing. Uh, it's nothing that you can give to anybody else. It's just your individualized immune response. Not everybody will get that. It's more likely to happen after the second dose. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I heard. So. <laughs> Good. The shot's always better than the disease. So. It is. And yeah. more than likely, you're just gonna, your arm's gonna be a little bit sore for the next day or so. Tricky, huh? Thank you. Okay, uh, 140 you seconds. Down your side? There you go. Just go off throughout that door for 15 whenever minutes. Whenever you okay? flex, that's when it works. Oh, yeah. well, I'm all muscle, you know. <laughs> 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 that works? Okay. Yeah. Straight ahead, sir. Straight ahead. All done. All right, awesome. Can I get like a sponge ball, just, like Band-Aid or something? Yeah, that's what you need. Yeah. So I got the vaccine and they gave me a little like pamphlet thing to read. Overall, it was super organized, much better than the horror stories of the civilian uh, vaccine sites that I've seen um, posted online, like at NRG Stadium where you have to sit in your car and then, you know, it takes hours. Um, but the VA hospital is a little bit of musical chairs. They just kind of shuttled us in and had us move around, you know, but they kept us in order and I got there about 12.30 and I was out by 1.30. And so... Um, yeah, it was just like in processing for the military, which I did 16 years ago, which was quite funny, except they didn't give us the BCGs, which are the birth control glasses that actually Harriet found my glasses. Um, this is what she looked like. And this is what I look like. Yeah. So thankfully, um, yeah, it's just super organized. So. Um, I got the first shot. They have you wait for 10 minutes in the waiting area to make sure you don't have any um, like adverse side effects and then you have to come back in three weeks. So uh, yeah, no, so far like no issues. It's been about maybe 30 minutes since I've had the shot, um, but I've had every shot possible. So maybe my body's like, no, no disease for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so super happy, um, feel relieved and thankful that in the last year, which has been a horrible year for everybody, um, I've actually not had COVID ever and I haven't been around anyone that's had it. And as far as I know, I haven't been exposed to it. So i um, been very fortunate. And, you know, my heart goes out to everybody who has had it or has lost a family member. The vaccine could not have come quick enough. Um, despite what 
conspiracy theories that you think you have or that you read on the, you know, Facebook, you know, YouTube and social media rabbit holes, you know, this is a, this is not a me thing. This is an us and we need to get herd immunity. I've had just about every shot, which I will go through my entire list of vaccines shortly. And you'll see that I've had every single shot possible, almost, and I've never had any disease that I have been vaccinated for. Um, and I've been to 89 countries. So I am all for this. I mean, this is, you know, science. And, you know, oh, they just had the vaccine in a year. No, actually, they've been developing this for 30 years. So, you know, it just happened to be that we just happened to get COVID, you know, coronavirus in 2019. So, or 2020. Anyway, so um, that said, I'm just super happy that I have it. And, you know, if you get a chance to get it, and you you know don't have any adverse side effects and yes people can get allergic reactions you might be allergic to an ingredient that's in it in that case we all need to be vaccinated on your behalf <laughs> like we need to we need to have the herd immunity to protect those that are immunocompromised that cannot get the vaccine that maybe are going through chemotherapy or they have you know pre-existing conditions that prevent them from getting a shot in those circumstances, it is up to us, the healthy individuals who do not have side effects, who do not have issues with the vaccine to get the vaccine in order to protect everybody else. Um, so whether you agree with it or not, um, you know, this is, this is something I never want my daughter to go through in her lifetime. I don't want to go through this again. I work in the travel industry and I've been in the travel industry for 21 years. I've been in advertising and marketing and, and all these industries that have gone down the drain because of COVID. And our favorite places have shut down and you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. And so if we can do our part and we can fix it, we should. <laughs> so that's my TED talk. That is my PSA. Um, but you know, I'm just doing my little bit to leave my little stamp on society. And hopefully you guys will, um, you know, Listen to science, not politicians. Politicians aren't scientists. If they are scientists, then, you know, good for them. But most of them aren't. <laughs> so anyway, that's all. So I feel fine. And I'm going to go eat some food and go finish working on the van. So now I'm going to show you the vaccinations that I've received throughout the 42 years that I've been on this earth. I was born in London and my parents are actually from New Jersey. So they were living in London in the 70s, so my brother and I were born there. And these are the vaccinations I received during uh, the first couple years that I was in the UK. Uh, as you can see, um, when I was about, probably about five or six months old, I got the polio vaccine, and then I got another polio vaccine and another polio vaccine. So I guess they give you three doses. Then I got smallpox, measles, and another polio booster. Now, when I went to Nigeria and West Africa in August 2019, I got the yellow fever shot, I got a typhoid shot, and I also got another polio booster. And I think that's because we were having cases in the US for people that weren't vaccinated. Um, so I think the herd immunity was going down for polio. So uh, again, uh, as I said before, I've never had any of the diseases I've been vaccinated for. But these were the ones that I had from age six months until about age five. Um, over here, uh, this was uh, when I moved to America, I had to have my uh, vaccination um, records um, so I could show the school in, in the US. I moved to America when I was 13 in 1991. Um, so I had uh, diphtheria, tetanus, polio, so that shows you the, the shots that I had. I think I just showed you those on the other piece of paper. Measles, um, BCG, which is uh, tuberculosis uh, vaccination, and they don't do that in the US, um, they just do a skin test. So if I were to take a skin test, it would show up positive because I've had the tuberculosis vaccination. Also had a rubella vaccination, which is uh, German measles. Um, which is what I have here. Uh, the, um, you know, when I was in the UK, it showed that I had uh, vaccination when I was at school. Also many tetanus shots. <laughs> I always played outside. So, you know, we ran around barefoot and there was always a rusty nail somewhere. So you always had to get your um, tetanus shot. So I've had many of those. 
Um, and then this is uh, just another BCG vaccination that I got 31 years ago. And then when I was in the US, um, obviously they did a test. I don't know why the test came out negative. I, I don't think they actually did the test um, because I remember every time I have a skin test for a TB, I have to pull my arm away and then point to the little scar that's on my uh, left uh, bicep and say, look, it's a little scar is my BCG. So I think they just didn't do the test because it would have come out positive. Um, but this was during high school. I guess you had to have a TB clearance um, when you started high school. Uh, this was graduation though. I think this was right before college. This is 1996. Um, again, uh, just more vaccine, um, uh, I guess, records. Uh, these were just photocopies from when I was a child. Um, so like I also said, I had a yellow fever shot, um, which I had in August 2019, and that's one shot for life. And uh, that you have to keep a yellow card with your passport. And when I went to West Africa, there's a little guy in a lab coat at the airport that will check for your yellow fever card. And if you don't have it, they won't let you in. Um, I also had in 2018 a uh, hepatitis vaccine. I think it was hepatitis A. And that was like two shots, I think, if I remember. Um, and then I've also had a bunch of vaccines when I lived in Japan, a uh, bunch of shots. Um, I also took malaria pills when I went to West Africa. So there's just a whole bunch of different, um, you know, vaccines and things that I've had as I've traveled, uh, not only to protect myself, but also to make sure I don't have asymptomatic um, conditions where I spread the disease uh, to people that, you know, are unaware that I, I have it. So. Yeah, so today, um, you know, I got the COVID vaccine and I just wanted to explain some of the other shots that I've had. And uh, of course, I also get the flu shot probably every other year. I, sometimes I just forget. When I get the flu shot, I end up actually usually getting the flu. It's not very, um, it's very mild. And I think it's because I go to the VA hospital where people are sick. So when I don't get the flu shot, I'm pretty much isolated away from people. I haven't had the flu in a, in a couple years. And I think the last time I had the flu shot, it actually was pretty good. <laughs> like I actually didn't get the flu. Um, I also got the DTaP, uh, which is uh, whooping cough and um, diphtheria and pertussis. Pertussis is whooping cough. I got that when I was pregnant with my daughter in 2012. Uh, and then also, um, I think that was the only shot I got then. And then when she was born, she got the vitamin K shot. And then she also has had all of her shots as well, except obviously COVID because they don't give it to eight year olds. Um, but they are investigating, you know, a child version, even though children are less likely to transmit COVID. So that's it. That is my bionic body. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then, you know, and then I walk out my front door and trip over my foot. So anyway, um, I am fully, you know, I guess fully vaccinated now, almost. One more shot for the Pfizer vaccine for COVID and then I'll be fully vaccinated until we get another horrific pandemic in a couple of years. Mm -hmm.